What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Observant Lineman. I'm your Observant Lineman, Uche Waneri. And wow, these referees in the NFL, officiating has become the hot button topic in the NFL. Let's take a look at this article from the Star Tribune. It says, criticism of NFL referees reaches new levels after Packers steal win. And, you know, I think it can't be overstated right now that the referees in the NFL have been completely out of line in the way that they've been calling games. Uh, The amount of penalties that they're calling now are absolutely ridiculous. And we are seeing players and fans and legends from around the football community uh, come out and just kind of, you know, uh, sound off their displeasure at how these referees have been refereeing in these games. Uh, it's been bad. It's been bad. But let's go through this article. It says people have been complaining about how sports are officiated for as long as there have been sports. In the first foot race at the Olympic Games nearly 3,000 years ago, one can imagine angry spectators throwing stones at some poor timekeeper. Uh, the voices have grown louder and angrier, it seems, in recent years. Maybe officiating is getting worse. Uh, maybe and probably we're more sensitive to missed calls because of high definition TV uh, and slow motion replays give us a better look in many cases uh, than the officials. I mean, that's all. I mean, they're seeing the same replays we're seeing, aren't they? I mean, what is the problem? Uh, maybe the magnitude of controversial calls given the millions and in some case billions at stake gives them more impact and makes them seem more pervasive. Now, in my opinion, I just kind of feel like the referees are being uh, told to focus on so many things in the course of a game that a lot of times it's it's a uh, it's a quick twitch quick twitch reaction that they have to make uh, in order to uh, you know make you know in order to catch something that they deem as a penalty, right? But we're just over here, you know, we get to see it a couple times. So to be fair, these guys are in high pressure positions, but hey, they also get paid a lot of money to do that. So uh, they're professionals, get it done. Uh, Whatever the case, the anger seems directed at two main sources, balls and strikes in Major League Baseball, uh, and pretty much any flag that comes out during an NFL game. The former is a problem, but beyond some momentum uh, for robot umps, it feels mostly like background noise in baseball. Nobody rational would say the work of home plate umpires is ruining the sport. In the NFL, however, there is an increase, uh, an increasing sense that the rules and how they are enforced, including the addition of reviewable pass interference, which I never even, I mean, I never understood why that was something that they allowed into the game. Why would you allow instant replay on pass interference? That means there's gonna be instant replay on every play during the game. That's exactly what we're seeing. These coaches are throwing out flags on every weird looking pass, thinking that it's pass interference. But a lot of times, you know, we've been seeing the refs not being as consistent in how they call them. So it's hard to figure out how to get out of that gray area. Um, Uh, even Tom Brady, who tends to have the most uh, uh, milk toast -toast opinions, uh, took a break from being a robot to tweet during a Thursday night game earlier this year. Too many penalties. uh, Just let us play. And, you know, Tom Brady is one of those guys who doesn't talk. He doesn't, he never goes against the grain unless he's, you know, being accused of deflating footballs. And, uh, but when he does, when you have him coming out talking about it's too many penalties, I think that that, that says something, you know, uh, <laughs> mild mannered Tony, this even includes mild mannered Tony Dungy. We're jumping into the fray to get their two cents. Former Packers Desmond Howard, uh, was the most aggressive insinuating the game was fixed. Uh, the refs need to be investigated. This is horrendous. Check bank accounts. No excuses. Clay Matthews, the storyline of 2019 continues to be the ref's inability to make the accurate and correct calls week in and week out. Uh, Al Riveron continues to blindly side with his refs and the current status quo. Something must change. Zero accountability. 
Uh, this is starting to sound uh, a little bit too familiar in how these players are voicing their dissent. Uh, a little bit uh, political sounding, I guess. But, I mean, the, the refs haven't been consistent. That's the problem. They haven't been consistent in how they're, getting, how they're making calls. I've seen a number of games this year where they call holding penalties on pancake blocks. I'm like, look, if a guy is defeated, if an offensive lineman has his hands inside and actually gets a lineman off balance in you know while moving him backward or while moving him at an angle and that guy falls backwards and the lineman lands on top of him that is not holding that's a pancake that's physically destroying that defensive lineman that's what that is uh, so i've seen a number of those uh you know so far this year that it's been obvious that it wasn't a holding call and somehow you know they consistently called it a holding uh, call if you had your hands inside on a D lineman and you had control of his upper torso with your hands because you have better position, better hand position than he does. So, you know, somewhere there's a, there's been a miscommunication as to what is truly holding and what's not. So uh, definitely something that, that everyone is, is, you know, we're all seeing it happen in real time. So we can't really, uh, you know, the refs have a hard time and, and, finding a way out of that one. It's 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 pretty obvious that they're, they're, they're a little bit off with their calls. Uh, the bogus personal foul and an on-call pass interference with six more points. Four wrong calls is hard to imagine. That's coming from Tony Dungy. That's a Hall of Fame head coach. That is uh, the most mild-mannered, most calmly, you know, most calm-demeanored uh, <laughs> football analyst slash coach you're ever going to see. If he's getting upset about it, you know there's a problem. Uh, Barry Sanders, this is that is sickening. The NFL needs to look at a way to prevent that from happening. Two phantom hands to the face calls really hurts us. Really hurts us tonight. Yes, we could have scored touchdowns, but the Lions played too well to have the game end this way. Uh, Detroit Free Press, you know they're gonna have a say about that. Lions blow a 13-point lead, settle for five field goals, and have multiple blown calls go out go against them. But on the bright side, in five billion year in five billion years, the sun will swell into a red giant, vaporize the earth, and obliterate all evidence of this game happening. <laughs> I mean, they're trying to keep it comical, but obviously, there's a lot of frustration there. There is a lot of frustration within football. Uh, and let's go over to Bleacher Report. They've got a little bit more. I mean, this is this is just continues on from Barry Sanders in his tweet. Uh, it says here, "Oh my God!" from Chris Long. Oh my God, the refs lost the Lions a game. Uh, Skip Bayless, NFL officiating is so consistently bad. Jerry Jones used to argue with me that human error among refs is good for the game because it creates day after controversy and conversation and increased interest. Maybe so, but I'd rather talk about great plays than bad calls. And I think that pretty much sums it up. You know, you'd rather be talking about the plays in the game that actually, uh, you know, had big parts in the outcome of the game rather than talk about how badly the officiating is hurting uh, your team's ability to get a dub on Sunday. And, you know, when the referees become a liability rather than an asset to the game, uh, then, you know, we start seeing things like this pop up. I mean, you'd rather the referees be, be invisible and you hardly see them, hardly hear from them, than, you know, hear their voices and know their names all too well. Uh, let's go through a couple more here before we just wrap this up. Uh, Ninja, uh, this is an e-gamer. I mean, even you know, when the e-gamers are involved, we got a real situation. How much are the Packers paying the refs? Reggie Bush, Green Bay can can thank the refs for that touchdown. Tyler Dune, surely the NFL will, will issue an apology to the Detroit Lions tomorrow morning and we'll never see an abomination like tonight again. Wait, no, it'll happen again and again and again. So there's some real distaste out here about what's going on with these referees. Pete Crisco, Pete Crisco uh, Roger Sherman. I was about to say, I hope it ain't Richard Sherman. He better not tweet nothing after all the mess he's been causing. Uh, but, yeah, you know, clearly it's an issue right now. And it's something that the NFL is going to have to address. But I think scaling back a little bit of what you're asking these referees to do, there's a point of emphasis. There's multiple points of emphasis for these guys every week. And they're having to keep up with a more with a bigger and bigger pile 
of bullet points on things that they need to be watching out for in games because now we're trying to overcorrect everything in the game. I mean, pass interference, instant replay is totally unnecessary, not something we need in football. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. Comment down in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to The Observant Lineman and hit the bell notification so that you can get notified every time I drop a new video. I am your Observant Lineman and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.